<laughs> Where do we start? What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing my match review, match reaction and match analysis of Manchester City's very impressive Champions League first leg victory over Bayern Munich at the Etihad Stadium by three goals to nil. But before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, subscribe, social media links in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. TikTok link, I did a one minute vlog from this game yesterday over on my TikTok if you want to go and check that out, the link to my TikTok is in the description if you want to go and follow me on there then that would be fantastic. Leave a thumbs up, 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and finally this video is sponsored and brought to you by GT Player who very kindly sent me this limited edition chair right here uh, they've got some fantastic chairs you can go and check them out the link to them is in the description and they're offering everybody five percent off using my code jsgc5 on checkout go and check them out so let's crack on with this video we're first going to start off by speaking about the three goals that Manchester City have scored and then we'll just digest it from there so we'll just speak about the goals first the first goal came 27th minute Great time to score a goal because the first 20 minutes or so, both teams were really just sussing each other out. And Manchester City thought, do you know what? We're going to attempt an opportunity here. And Rodri, the man that only scores good goals, scores another belting goal for Manchester City. A cracking finish into the top corner and beat Sommer. And it's going to take something very special to beat Jan Sommer because he's a top quality goalkeeper. He had a brilliant game for Bayern Munich yesterday. One of the most standout players that they had, which showed just how well Manchester City did. Uh, but a cracking finish from Rodri and the perfect start. And it was, it was all about Manchester City finding that first goal, finding their feet and putting all the pressure onto Bayern Munich because when you're playing in a knockout game over two legs... You need all the advantages that you can get. And Man City needed something to take over to Munich next week. And they've got that. Three goals. Fan absolutely fantastic. The only shame now is we haven't got the away goal ruling. Because if we had the away goal ruling as well, all we need to do at the Allianz would be score that away goal. Ties done. Done and dusted. Over it is. But... It, as it is, away goals don't count anymore and City do have a little bit of work, albeit Manchester City just need to hold firm in Munich, but we do have a little bit of work to do. But make no mistake, this is a fantastic, fantastic result for Manchester City. And then we went into the second half, Bayern Munich looked better, they looked hungrier, they'd pushed the back line a little bit further up and they were putting City under pressure and Edison pulled off some fantastic saves. And then Manchester City just came about and grabbed that second goal. And it was Bernardo Silva on the 70th minute. And to me, again, it's the perfect time, really, to be scoring the gold. Midway through the first half, midway through uh, the second half as well, near enough. Job's done from there in Manchester City into a solid, solid position where we just need to keep going. And that's what we did. And it was Erling Haaland this time, just six minutes later. You cannot stop this man from scoring with another good goal for Manchester City and puts us in a commanding position to potentially make the Champions League semi-final. Now, I don't want to get too carried away by this result because the job isn't done. We could start celebrating if we make it through to the semi-final. We've still got to go to the Allianz Arena. Bayern Munich are going to come out flying. They grab a couple of first-half goals and this ties well and truly on. So the job isn't done. I'd say probably 90% done by Manchester City. Uh, we just need to focus. I'd be going with the same team next week in Munich and I'd be holding firm, looking for them pockets of space and being clinical in front of goal. And if we can grab the first goal at the Allianz, arena to me that will be the tie done City just needing one in Germany and that that'll be enough I think for City to go through because defensively City yesterday excellent that back line I had concerns with no Kyle Walker starting it looks as settled as any back line that we've ever seen at Manchester City right now and that may sound like a bit of an over exaggeration but it's not it was fantastic for Manchester City that back line held firm Stones fantastic Ruben Diaz Fantastic. Nathan Ake, amazing. Manuel Akanji, where my concerns were in this game, had an awesome game, didn't put a foot wrong. Edison in goal, some crucial, crucial saves as well. That back line for Manchester City yesterday held firm. It was absolutely brilliant. Rodri, 
Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne getting into them pockets. It was the perfect performance. Thomas Tuchel got completely, completely overanalyzed in this game by Pep Guardiola. I said it at the game yesterday. It's almost like Manchester City have crossed all their I's and dotted the T's. They knew what they needed to do. They did their homework and they did it, the execution of their plan to absolute perfection. Bayern Munich had more possession, 56% to Man City's 44%. Not many teams come to the Etihad and have more possession than us. In fact, off the top of my head, I can't think of any this season that have done that. Away from home, not many have done it either. I know this is, game is very similar to City's performance that we played at the Emirates Stadium where we needed to go up to that next level to beat Arsenal. And we hit that next level in the Premier League back in February and we beat them with a comprehensive performance. And we've done the same here again against Bayern Munich as well. Very similar system. We're happy for them to have more passes. We're happy for them to have a little bit more possession. Bayern Munich creatively created more than Arsenal did when we played them at the Emirates Stadium. And Thomas Tuchel isn't a million miles away from what he said after the game it sounds crazy when he says Bayern Munich played a good game the stats show Bayern Munich did play a good game but for all the possession and the passes that they had City had five more shots than them Bayern Munich had four shots on uh, target four saves for Edison to make City ended up having 17 shots nine on target City were hungrier City wanted it more and they were exploiting in my opinion Bayern Munich's weakness we spoke all about their attack and how good their attack can be their defence leaves much to be desired. Very much so. They're going to go all out attack at the Allianz Arena. So there's going to be space left, right and centre. So if our defence can hold firm once more, there's every chance that City can go up in the first five, ten minutes of that game, hit the ball into space, take your opportunity. As I said, all we need is a goal in Germany. And in my opinion, uh, this tie is done. But that was one of the best performances I've seen from Manchester City ever. Bayern Munich are an elite European team. They are a brilliant team. Top of the Bundesliga. It isn't easy to beat them. They win games. They go on big winning streaks. They are a fantastic football team. And Manchester City yesterday put them to the sword. They made them look ordinary. And Bayern Munich, I'll tell you right now, they're not out PSG in the last round. And PSG sometimes leave a lot to be desired. But Bayern Munich over them two legs completely outplayed Paris Saint-Germain. And yesterday... Bayern Munich got taught a lesson and they've got now one week today to learn them lessons to do something at the Allianz Arena. I'll tell you right now, the Munich fans won't be happy. The hierarchy at Munich will not be happy. But from the City point of view, they must be absolutely ecstatic. Atmosphere yesterday at the Etihad, brilliant. Pep Guardiola, all his decision making, absolutely spot on. The players turned up, the players are hungry, the players want this. And I am excited in my opinion, we've got a game coming up at the weekend against Leicester. I don't change anything. I don't change anything next week against Bayern either. I let this team go. And when we need to rotate, rotate. If there's any players that are feeling a bit tired at the weekend, rotate them. I, I imagine they'll be running on adrenaline. And then rotate weekend after Sheffield United Championship team at Wembley. That's when I fully rotate the team. Not against Leicester. Not against Bayern. Very much advantage Manchester City, but the job is not done yet. We need to keep this momentum going. Fantastic performance yesterday. Arguably Manchester City's best ever performance that we have made in, Ch in the Champions League, certainly in a knockout match. The only other ones that spring to mind for me. A brilliant two-leg performance last season against Atletico Madrid. And a couple of years back when we knocked out Real Madrid as well with a perfectly executed plan. But to me, they were always narrow, close games. This game yesterday wasn't close and it's no exaggeration City could have scored six or seven if it wasn't for Jan Sommer. Bayern Munich probably should have come away with a goal or two. I left the Yeti had yesterday thinking we've won the game 3-0, that's fantastic. Probably the game should probably have finished what, six one, seven two, something like that. That's how good Manchester City were yesterday. A brilliant performance. It's the benchmark. I don't fear playing Bayern Munich in Germany. I don't fear playing Chelsea or Real Madrid in the semi-final. I don't fear playing one of Inter, Benfica, Napoli or AC Milan in Istanbul in the final either. Everyone will have been watching that game yesterday thinking this is Man City making their statement. What we need to do now is make that statement away from home and assert ourselves as to a team that, in my opinion, are ready to win the Champions League. Brilliant performance. If we can match that performance like for like next week 
and in the semi-final and in the final, in my opinion, Manchester City win the big ears. That's the standard that we're looking for. We know what we need to do. We just need to get the consistency there now. And we're starting to show that as well. And it is frightening just how good Manchester City can be. What a win. So thank you everybody for watching. Much appreciated. There my thoughts. I'm going to have a match vlog out from yesterday's game. Up later on today for you to look forward to. So do subscribe. Got that to look forward to. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, do leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. And finally, I want to say a big thank you to GT Player for sponsoring today's video. see you all again for the match vlog which will be up very soon so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>